In this video, we will discuss investigations of ischemic stroke. CT scan differentiates ischemic stroke from the hemorrhagic stroke. When does a CT scan become positive? Small infarctions are difficult to visualize by CT scan with large ischemic strokes. CT abnormalities are usually evident after 24 to 48 hours, not immediately. CT scan can detect hemorrhages, subarachnoid hemorrhages, aneurysms, tumors, and abscesses. MRI is more sensitive for a small infarct in all areas of the brain, including cortex and brain stem. Diffusion-weighted MRI have high sensitivity for identifying ischemic stroke within minutes after the onset. What's the MRI funding in infarction? In ischemia, there occurs poor perfusion only with no other abnormalities that is seen in MRI. The perfusion techniques Xenon CT and PET scan can quantify cerebral blood flow. They are useful for determining the arterial stenosis and planning revascularization. Single photon emission tomography and MR perfusion techniques can detect relative cerebral blood flow. Combining CT angiography, perfusion imaging with non-contrast CT scan give detailed information about ischemia. CT perfusion can measure the ischemic area accurately. Accurate measurement of the ischemic area makes it possible to select patient for thrombolysis, thrombectomy or other planning. Angiography is the gold standard for identifying atherosclerotic stenosis. It excludes the aneurysms, reveals vascular occlusions and the tissues at a risk of infarction. Angiography can also identify vasospasm, intraluminal thrombi, fibromuscular dysplasia and AV fistula.